Feeling blue without you Give me one more chance Give me one more dance Feel Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are actually going to be doing a makeup tutorial and review with this beautiful bad boy here. This is the Rustic Glam Dominique Cosmetics palette. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love this. And then if you just open up this bad boy and look at the colors that are in here, you are not human if you cannot love this palette. That's just, oh, that's just stunning, my friend. And the names in here, absolutely in love. This is, it, it calls to my gypsy soul. It's just, oh, I love it. Dreamcatcher, Wildflower, Gypsy, Moonchild, Wonderlust, Desert Queen, Bohemian, Suede, Free Spirit, Evil Eyes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. So let's get in here. Let's, let's pick the colors that we're going to go with here. choices in this are like so real. You could get so many looks out of this. You literally could get so many looks out of this bad boy. Do I want something cute and pretty or something dramatic and bold? Mm. Some questions? You know what? Let's just start playing around, pick some colors, go through my little brush bag here for my favorite brushes. I have a lot of favorite brushes. And let's just, let's just play with it, shall we? Let's see here. <laughs> start out with the orangey terracotta brown that's in here that's called Desert Queen. I'm going to pop that out here on my outer corners and maybe, maybe in the crease too. than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Good start, good start. Alright. Guess I'm gonna use a Morphe blending brush for the next round up. I think I'm going to dip into Wildflower, which is this cute, soft pink, like a carnation pink. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to blend above the crease and upward towards my eyebrow because I'm a very exciting person. Mm. 
I like that. Although I could have picked a better blending brush. I, I could have. These two colors actually go super well together. That's it, I'm not going to <laughs> cringe reference for the day. It's, it's been an interesting week. Interesting. I'm going to go back in. going to add a little more of that back in there. Get the, more of that pinky orangey in there. With that pink. And then... <laughs> I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna go one step more, and I'm actually gonna take Fringe in here, which is a, just a regular neutral light beige, and I'm actually gonna take that from the rest between the color Wildflower up to the brows, just cause I have hooded eyes, and I actually like having my eyeshadow go all the way from the lid up. This is just telling me I need to go get my eyebrows done. It's been a minute with quarantine going on. My eyebrows need a friend. Then I usually take and swoop the shade I use as my last one underneath my brow bone, up around my corner and down to kind of soften the outer portion there, especially if I'm going to do a wing liner and I'm not going to have my eyeshadow wing it out there with it. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm loving that. 100% loving that. Okay. Next, lid shade. Okay, where are we going with this one? I want to use one of the shimmers, and there's there's actually quite a few in here that I really like. There's this one, this one, this is like a greeny, greeny gold, and then they have this more like copper color one over here. I don't know. It, it makes life so hard. Let's see. I have a little mirror here. I'm checking to see which one I like best. I'm not that weird, I promise. You know what? Let's go with Gypsy. The purple color is so beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna get my favorite brush here. This is my favorite padding brush. We're gonna see how well this is gonna go on because with shimmer shades and I am wearing an eyelid primer, it's actually the um, eyelid eyeshadow primer from Pretty Vulgar. But uh, sometimes with shimmers, they don't like uh, brushes, so you have to use your fingers. So let's let's find out, shall we? Actually, that's not working too bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could get more payoff with a different brush or with my finger, but that's not terrible. Ooh, I like that. Let's see. Time to break out the baby brush. You see how tiny that is? Okay. I need to be getting in a little closer here, so if you'll excuse me here.
So everyone knows my opinion on Morphe. I think Morphe makeup sucks ass. Really, really bad. Don't like their palettes, don't like their lipsticks, don't like any of their makeup. However, if it's one thing Morphe does right, it's brushes. If it's one thing to do right, it's the brushes. I have zero issue with Morphe brushes ever. And I'm going to just use my finger and dab a little more on because I feel like I can get a little more coverage that way. Ooh. We be shimmering and shiny. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. You girls. You're so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go and grab a smaller blending brush, this baby Lexi brush, and I'm gonna dip back into Wildflower, which is the pink that is in this palette, and I am going to blend a little more. Desert Queen. So I just want to feel that. I feel very margarita sunsetty. Boom. Okay. Now it's time to smoke out the lower lash line. Which one of you am I going to use? I'm going to go in with. Another little baby Lexi brush. This is one of the Lexi minis. It's the mini flat angled brush. Ooh, what color? Let's go with let's go tap into suede. Which is that dark chocolatey brown. It's nice that it's a flat angled brush, that actually really helps. to finish setting underneath my eyes, my blush and bronzer, eyeliner, eyeshadow, or eyeshadow, my eyeliner, my lashes, because I use my fanatic lashes, and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back, I have my lashes on, I have these big old lashes are so big honestly I could probably pick up a stiff wind and fly away but let's get back into final thoughts for the rustic palette at least for this look I may come back and do a couple different looks because this one was a cute pinky orange um, I could definitely get some cute blues and some cute kind of grungy green going on maybe I should do a little mini series and put them together like I did with the Valentine's Day look videos I did with blood sugar. Maybe that'll be a good option. But all in all, I'm happy with it. Yeah, there's a little bit of fallout in here. 
but all the colors I use blended out real nicely. They have really good payoff. Um, I would recommend definitely using a eyeshadow primer like I did for using these because I feel like that could pat it down and help it stick better. I just feel like the shadows I used were a little bit dry. They're not patchy by any means, but they're dry. They're a little dusty. All in all, not bad though. Super, super cute. And honestly, I'm a fan of Dominique's Cosmetics. I have a couple of their other palettes. And I honestly have no problem with them. So, as far as liking this palette, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. It's not my favorite color scheme, but in the end, it is absolutely gorgeous. I will make sure to add in a close-up video at the end of this so you can see all the shades in their glory. And you know what? If you're thinking about buying it and you think it's pretty, I would recommend it. There's no reason not to have it if you like the colors that are coming through. So let's give you a quick zoom in here on my eyes and hopefully I don't look too stupid. And uh, then a preview of the palette and that'll be it for this video. Uh, short, simple, sweet, cute. Thanks for joining me today and uh, if you have this palette or got this palette, let me know if you like it. Let me know what you've tried with it. I would be interested in trying other looks from this palette, 100% for sure. So, stay tuned and here we go. Feeling blue without you Give me one more chance Give me one more dance